This is the download from Sounds Profitable, your daily source for the essential news of the business of podcasting. Brought to you by Spreaker from iHeart. I'm Tom Webster. Here's what you need to know for today, Tuesday, November 28th. First, Audia announces their intent to strip ads from podcasts. App developer Audia has announced for the second time that their Fader app will soon use AI to remove advertisements from, quote, the top 200 most popular podcasts, unquote, providing a promised 50,000 episodes of content ad-free. Fader currently costs $5.99 a month and says they will add the ad stripping tech on January 15th as a temporarily free feature. There is, of course, the strong possibility this update won't happen as this concept has already been delayed once. In fact, this was first announced back in June. When asked by Pod News if Fader would provide an opt-out process for podcasters, Audia's spokesperson responded, why opt-out if no harm is being done? And of course, we'll see once the lawyers get involved. From Ad News, digital audio ad spend in Australia is up 16.2% in the September quarter of 2023. Advertising continues to do well down under. According to the September edition of IAB Australia's Online Advertising Expenditure Report, prepared by PwC, podcast digital audio advertising spend increased 19.2% in Q3. The report also finds 43% of Australians aged 12 and up are listening to a podcast at least monthly. Overall, podcast ad spend has grown $4 million Australian dollars year over year. And in Deadline, Realm and IGN strike a podcast deal, including scripted adaptations of Justin Roiland's video game High on Life from Squanch Games. Realm, known for producing licensed audio fiction for IP ranging from Stranger Things to Marvel Comics, has now signed a deal to develop and distribute an audio series based on video game IP. The earliest product of the deal will be an audio fiction set in the world of High on Life, the sci-fi comedy game created by ousted Rick and Morty co-creator Justin Roiland, who's not involved with the project. While the High on Life podcast is catching headlines, it's worth noting how much deeper this deal can go. IGN not only has deep ties in gaming, its parent company Ziff Davis outright owns a publishing company in the form of Humble Games, and this deal could potentially lead to a wellspring of video game audio fiction adaptations and tie-ins. And for the rest of the news, Apple shares the most popular podcasts of the year, and Adam Bowie takes a look at the Rajar Midas report from the UK. And speaking of data, today we have a data snapshot, and this is taken from the podcast landscape, which was the study that we released over the summer at Podcast Movement in Denver. We asked Americans 18 plus to think about podcasters and podcasting as a job, and we gave them a series of words and phrases and asked them how well it described podcasting as a job. And those words and phrases ranged from respectable to frivolous. Essentially, what the data says is that Americans generally have very positive perceptions of podcasters. In fact, the top five answers are all positive, respectable, valuable, skilled, rewarding, and professional. It's not till number six that you get to not for me. And what it means Well, while only murders in the building may have painted podcasters as on the fringes of society, the truth is that podcasting is, in fact, well regarded by the public. And why it's cool, nearly one in five, 19 percent, say that a podcast is something they'd like to do. And that's great news for future creators and future new podcasts. Be sure to check out the links to every article mentioned right in your podcast listening app or at soundsprofitable.com, where you can also subscribe to the newsletter version. The download is written and produced by Brian Barletta, Gavin Gaddis, and me. This episode is hosted on Art19. For Sounds Profitable, I'm Tom Webster. Download us again tomorrow.